I have the distinct pleasure to introduce to you a, a man this evening who has made a difference by significantly improving the human condition both at home and abroad. We're honored to have you here with us tonight and please welcome our keynote speaker, Stephen Lewis. Um, thank you, everyone. I'm, I'm uh, entirely delighted to be here. A number of years ago, I had the privilege in the 1990s of coordinating a study on the consequences of armed conflict on children. And what was so fascinating about it, because none of us had intuited it or imagined it in advance, was that whether a child was in conflict or coming out of conflict, what a child most wanted was a school. Everywhere we went, from Cambodia to Rwanda to Colombia to the Balkans, that's what kids talked about. When you ask them directly, what did they want in the midst of the carnage all around them, they would say, we want to go to school. They just want to be in a school because of what it means to them. It's not just the love of learning, it's the sense of, of solidarity with other kids. There's no more important value in this world than teaching. <laughs> That reaches all these kids. It must be wonderful for you as a regulatory body. I know people are here from other regulatory bodies, and I don't pretend you are of lesser import. You're just incidental or <laughs> nondescript, uh, inconsequential. Uh, but, but the regulatory fiefdom of the Ontario College of Teachers is, of course, uh, attempting to create within the teaching profession the kind of accreditation which will make for kids everywhere a grand educational experience. And what I did by way of preparation, such as it is, for my remarks was to read the report of uh, Patrick Lesage. Well, actually, I read more than the report of Patrick Lesage. I was given an incomparable amount of material uh, uh, in order to prepare, and, and frankly, most of it was both incomprehensible and indigestible. Uh, so I relied on Lesage. One of the points which he made strongly in the report, which struck me as having a certain validity, was that the world in Ontario didn't really know what the Ontario College of Teachers was. Uh, indeed, many of the members don't understand entirely the way it functions. And Judge Lesage was mournful about that. He felt that, that the public should know much more. I mean, this isn't some removed organization. This is an organization which is intrinsic to the life of teaching. The centerpiece for Patrick Lesage was transparency and accountability. And I've always felt that transparency should be uh, the hallmark of functioning in a semi-quasi-public environment. And I think that's true of regulatory bodies, and I think that it should be as open and transparent as possible. You know, when I was in politics, I, 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 was, uh, I was faintly unbalanced. Um, <laughs> but I always thought it would be such a nice feeling for the electorate generally if politicians on a regular basis admitted when they were wrong, indeed talked about it publicly. The, the, these things should be so transparent that people know about the interstices of your functioning, that they understand what's really going on. And I, I don't see why you shouldn't speak publicly about your problems with school boards. I, I don't think school boards are, are verging on angelic perfection. And, and frankly, and I think this was also writ large in uh, Lesage's report, uh, you don't always get along with the teachers' unions. And I don't see why that shouldn't be discussed publicly. I mean, it's an emancipatory moment. It's like a, it's like a, a spasm of liberation when these things are out in the public domain. And it would do wonders for the Ontario College of Teachers to have a voice which is, is much, uh, much respected and develop a profile to be controversial in the best way, not antagonistic, not as I am, not, not, not hyperbolic and excessive, just gentle and persuasive. I, I think it's, it's, it's so important that voices be heard. I'd like to encourage as much as possible a stronger profile for the college a stronger sense of what the public interest means and wants to hear, a stronger sense of voice uh, which brings credibility. 
I can't imagine a more noble activity than to be engaged in teaching and education. It is, after all, the lifeblood of a society. Thank you for having me.